So there's been a lot of talk about abortion regulations at the state legislature and what it actually means for those of us who live here. So we wanted to break it down for you. First, you should know there are two bills right now in the state legislature. Today, state lawmakers passed a bill that they want to see added to the state constitution. It's going to go before you, the voter, this October, and it says there is no right to abortion, and it would essentially ban it altogether. But it would only go into effect if the U.S. Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade. And as long as Roe v. Wade stands, this measure doesn't take effect. The other bill at the state legislature is a fetal heartbeat bill that bans abortions after about six weeks. That stands a better chance of going into effect if it's passed, but it would still likely face a court challenge. Lawmakers have not voted on it yet. Now, Louisiana's heartbeat bill is similar to a law that was passed in Mississippi back in March, and today the federal judge who struck down Mississippi's 15-week abortion ban last year said that, sma that the new law, quote, smacks of defiance to this court. He said he would make a final decision about striking down Mississippi's fetal heartbeat law soon. So the overall objective of these laws for anti-abortion advocates is to try and tee up cases for the Supreme Court in an effort to overturn Roe versus Wade. It's important to understand what that ruling established and how these laws are challenging it. At its core, the ruling established that a woman, a pregnant woman's right to choose is protected under the 14th Amendment's right to privacy. It also said that right to privacy is not absolute and must be balanced between protecting women's health and prenatal life. The Supreme Court broke down that balance into the trimesters of pregnancy. For the first trimester, Roe v. Wade says the government cannot prohibit abortions at all. In the second trimester, the government could require reasonable health regulations in order to have one. And in the third trimester, abortions could be prohibited entirely, except in cases necessary to save a woman's life. And across the country today, pro-choice activists held rallies against abortion restrictions. Eight states have passed laws limiting abortion rights. Alabama's new law bans all abortions unless the mother's life is endangered. One of the biggest protests was in Washington, D.C., on the steps of the Supreme Court. None of the abortion laws have taken effect yet and still could be blocked by courts.